It is March 14th, 2024, and I live in the state of Florida, specifically Orlando. And let me tell you, it is such a privilege to live here. I got Disney World 20 minutes away from me, Universal 40 minutes away. If I'm bored, there's something to do, which makes sense that Orlando is one of the number one tourist destination spots. Now, personally, I just wake up, do stuff, go to bed, make content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever unless TikTok gets banned soon, yikes. But it is spring break, and I don't really know it's spring break until I start seeing videos like this. One hundred and thirty-five minutes for Tower of Terror with the longest lightning lane for the ride that I've ever seen. Spring break is fully sprung here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've made a ton of different YouTube videos talking about the crowd, specifically in Disney World, maybe Universal. You can go on my channel and find those videos. But this year, maybe it's because I'm getting older, but I just did not want to be a part of those crowds. But you have to wonder, is it really that bad? Because people are still going, you know? Disney World did not break up with spring break. Miami did. That was really awkward and weird. Fort Lauderdale, I heard, was horrible, but is Disney World that bad right now you know you see the videos but let's go ground level i'm gonna go to every single theme park today in disney world and find out are oh, the crowds really that bad is social media lying to you are people just getting these perfectly timed videos just for sensational clicks or are they actually trying to genuinely help you and say hey don't come here during spring break let's go find out for ourselves we're starting our journey at Animal Kingdom, more specifically though, in the parking lot. One thing you need to know is make sure when you park, you go in front of the cars because there's oncoming traffic, but I'm in a safe spot right now. I like to determine crowd sizes straight off the parking lot and both lots are pretty full right now. This place usually seems to die down around four or five, but the fact that we have so many cars coming in still, I'm kind of getting worried. I also made a big mistake. One, coming here. Two, not having water. And three, I didn't put on sunscreen. I'm parked in Butterfly 119. Kind of like as far back as I've parked in a long, long time. Like, look, it's literally curving to the exit right now. So we're pretty far back. I'm already winded, but we finally made it to the front entrance of Disney's Animal Kingdom. And already, this area outside is more crowded. More people are chilling. I'm seeing some big groups getting ready to go in. A lot of people are leaving, but just as many are coming in. So let's go. I need some water real quick. I'm gonna die if I don't. Interestingly enough, there's not really a line to get in, you know? This is pretty convenient. Okie dokie, so for our initial entrance in to our first Disney park during spring break 2024. It's not that bad. Seemed like a regular old day. Granted, not too many people are loitering in the front. They want to get into the actual park. Oh my gosh. Yes. I refuse to buy a water bottle, but I wish I had one. All the regular spring breakers go to the left. But if you're a pro like me, oh wait, dang it. There's people going over the bridge. Hold on. This is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> it's like a bouncy bridge. It's so much fun. I mean, most of you guys watching probably already know this, but look at this. Ow, I just hurt myself. I got so excited. It's not as fun when you're by yourself, but it bounces. It sways left and right. Ooh, anyway, a little less crowded than the average entrance. I literally feel like a news anchor right now. We have people live from Disney Animal Kingdom who are experiencing spring break. Where are you guys from? We're from Tampa. Tampa, okay. And how's it been so far? Are you having fun? Yeah, so much, so much fun. fun. Yeah. The weather's so nice. That's fair. It is really nice today. Has it been crowded? Yeah. Yeah? It's not, not as bad as we thought, though. Yeah. Okay. I would agree. I'd say it's pretty busy, though. Yeah, we went on rides. We went on a safari. That's okay. probably my yeah. favorite. We went on Avatar. We went on Avatar. Really yeah. Okay. Two big rides that we're definitely gonna check the wait times for. Did you guys wait for that or did you like, yeah. oh my gosh, two hours? Yeah. Worth it though. Worth it. I mean, it's a great ride. Probably one 
one of the best in Walt Disney World, yeah. but all right, yeah, you're Would doing you it. Wait two hours for that ride. Personally, I mean, listen, I live here, yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to anyone? Hi, mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived to Animal Kingdom. There's a tree of life. Tons of animals on the tree. Um, is it called the Tree of Life? Dang it, why am I forgetting the name right now? It's been a minute since I've been to the park, but this is the main hub area. Honestly, I feel like I've seen it busier, so. Right now, it looks pretty normal to me. But then again, I live here, so. Let's keep exploring. Also, I wanna make this very clear that there's no problem with other content creators on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube covering the crowd, saying how busy it is. It's been done for years and it will continue to be a trend for the rest of life, you know? Like, people wanna see the crowd, so no shade to anyone who has been covering the crowds in their own way. I feel like the best way to really see how the crowds are are to go to like what some of the most popular rides and eating establishments in there. Can determine how crazy the park truly is. To all of my friends who watch Disney vlogs, what do you think? What are your opinions about spring break crowds? Would you go? Do you not care? Would you just buy the lightning lanes and everything? I mean, walkways are kind of congested at times, but nothing too crazy. Nothing like what I saw on social media so far. One of my favorite locations in Animal Kingdom, the Nomad Lounge, it actually doesn't have that long of a wait right now. There's no reservations. You can just sign up. It's only like a 15 minute wait right now. If I was with some friends, I would totally just spend all day in here. I mean, they have delicious drinks and like, look how chill it is. But I hear you, everybody. You don't care about random restaurants that are like niches for residents of Orlando, Florida. You want the big attraction. So that's how we're heading into the Valley of Moor, AKA the Avatar Land. Let's see how busy it gets in here. Always making new friends. This is Jonathan. I was like, you have to be on the vlog today. Cause if you guys don't know, my full name is Jonathan. So yeah, and what's your name? I'm Pam. This is mom. mom this is mom, Pam. yeah. The fit is crazy today, Jonathan. You look like you're coming straight out of like Animal Kingdom Entertainment. Are you enjoying your spring break uh, vacation so far? Absolutely, yeah. It's, yeah. it's been a lot of fun. And and yeah, the part of the fit is mine. The hat is Animal Kingdom. So. Got you. Yeah. So is it crowded? Like, have you noticed that it seems to be a little more busier than normal? Oh, yes. Much busier than it was last year. But ah, okay. it's spring break for a lot of folks. So yeah. a lot of kids, a lot of young people. That's makes fair. It fun. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. It makes it fun. Yeah. Some people would be like, oh, I hate kids. But yeah, no. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been really fun. What's so. one ride you've done today so far? Uh, oh, gosh. So we did Navi River Journey. Just got off of that okay. uh, because it's great. Uh, Flight of Passage. I did. And what else did we do? Oh, we saw um, Festival of the Lion King. Nice. Yeah, oh, one of my friends is a cast member awesome in that. That was an awesome show. Yeah, I love that show. I remember yeah. crying to it the first time I saw it. I mean, yeah. you seem to have had a good day so far. Oh, was yeah. that just waiting in line, or did you do Lightning Lane, or? Well, we kind of slept in this morning. Uh ah. <laughs> so I feel like this could be a typical TikTok clip saying, the parks are crowded. I mean, it does look very congested right now, but this is pretty normal to be honest. I mean, the snack carts over here at least don't seem too bad. This is rough. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> Navi River Journey at a 75 minute wait. Now, if you're fans of my channel, I've spoken pretty highly about not going on this ride if there's a long wait. It's cute, but I don't think it's worth over a 30 minute wait. So, like if someone offered me to go on it right now, I would. Great ride. But definitely not worth 75 minutes in my opinion. I love this land. It's one of Disney's best for sure. Apparently, they're bringing something like this to Disneyland over in California over the next couple years, but time will tell if they follow through with that. The biggest attraction at Animal Kingdom, Flight of Passage is at a 75 minute wait, which honestly, I've seen it longer. I've seen it over 100 minutes. I mean, 75 minutes is a long time. This is gonna be about a two hour wait and people are getting in line for it. I mean, you can't get a lightning lane at this point. They're sold out for today. Another way I like to determine crowd size in Disney theme parks specifically is the mobile ordering experience on the My Disney app. Basically, like if it's like you have to wait 15 minutes, 30 minutes to get your order, then that restaurant's pretty swamped right now. But looking at my app, Satuli Canteen, the place we're sitting in right now, it's next arrival now, which means you can literally start an order and get it in the next five minutes, which on certain days or if a new restaurant has like items that you want to try, you have to usually wait anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. So long story short, 
all of the mobile ordering locations in Animal Kingdom are you can make an order right now and get it in the next five minutes, which is really nice. So it doesn't seem really busy in that aspect. Gosh, you can see the sweat just glistening off my skin right now. It's so hot outside. Anyway, more friends. What's your name? I am Lexi, but I might, you might know me as Magic Aura. And she does merch, right? I do. So that's my small shop. So Show it up. Called. This one, this is my new drop. So this one's I scream on rides, so. I do, I, I do scream on rides. I say I know how to maneuver throughout the parks, so I would say yes. But if you are like a first timer, I would honestly recommend not coming spring break because it's too overcrowded. There is, the heat's kind of hot and. The heat is definitely hot. Yesterday, it was to the point where I went to America just to like cool down, so. To all who come to this happy place, Welcome. Good to see you. What are your plans for the rest of the day? I think I'm going to Cowboys tonight. <laughs> That's my first yeah, time oh, going to Cowboys. Oh man, you're going to Cowboys going tonight? To Cowboys? You're, we're seeing Jacob. He's going to Cowboys we're tonight. We're seeing the Navi there. Oh my gosh, the that's Navi. crazy. Cowboys is a local bar that a ton of my friends like to go to. I think the coolest part about this video so far is hearing all the different opinions. We got some people who love the crowds who are just happy to be here. We have people who visit a lot who are like, hey, this ain't for me. Also, this is definitely 100% my favorite spot in Animal Kingdom. It's on the backside of the Pandora Land. You got this beautiful man-made lake. It's a little quiet. It is crowded though. I can see a ton of people walking up and down right now. So maybe this is a good indicator that it's busy because usually this is where I can get some little alone time. The Lion King show is definitely one of the top performances at Walt Disney World. Definitely the fan favorite at Animal Kingdom. For the five o'clock showing, it's 4.30 and there's actually a decent amount of people here. I usually don't see these kinds of lines for the last show of the day. We got the Dawa Bar in Africa actually having a little bit of a line. I love to see it, it's getting attention. In Africa, this is gonna be your hot spot for people because you got tons coming from the safari Definitely feeling the spring break effects around here. A lot of people buying food. I mean, there's actually a little bit of a line for the Harambe fruit market right now, which I've never seen before. But honestly, the safari itself is only at a 15 minute wait right now, which is actually really good. They do have a walking attractions like Gorilla Falls where you can kind of see a bunch of animals and that you don't need to wait in a line. A quick look in the merchandise store by Africa. It's not busy at all. Every time I come to Animal Kingdom, I always want to go to this feather show right here. <laughs> I never do though, one day. It's interesting because you got some spots with long lines and then other vendors with like basically a no one in line. Obviously this is more for just slushies and hand dipped Mickey premium bars. I did not know they did that here. The Yak and Yeti, which is a restaurant in Animal Kingdom, a very good and popular option is not taking walk-ins right now. Unless if you're lucky enough to find space at the bar, that is a walk-up option. I always check this, but right now, full which I've never seen before unfortunately the one ride I expected to be a hit right now during spring break is Cali River Rapids but it's not open right now it's under some uh, maintenance and hopefully it'll be open by the end of the week oh my gosh I get so excited you see that guys look at the monkey just hanging around I wish that could be me I just want to be a monkey I'm really excited to see what the line wait time is for Expedition Everest because of videos like this No shade to this person, I mean, that's real, that happened, but around four o'clock, what's it like? Expedition Everest. It's out of 40 minute wait. You can literally walk into the attraction. You know, the other day, they're like, don't come to Disney during spring break. There was a line going all the way down. But that must have been at like a peak time or maybe in the morning when everyone was excited to be here. Hey, just wanted to say hi to you, Dad. Keith Payton, love ya. Quick stop in Dino Land to see if it's any busier. Um, 
Not really. Not like a noticeable difference. I definitely see some people playing the games a little bit more, but some games are still pretty empty. Also, I have yet to win a game here, which kind of makes me mad. In 2024, that's a goal. All right, uh, Triceratops spins. A predominantly kitty ride. It doesn't seem like too long of a wait. It's uh, 10 minutes, so that's very normal. Like, nothing crazy. I do miss this ride over here. It was like a meme almost, but you know, it got the job done. Oh, we got Donald Duck during his last set of the day. I love his little dinosaur outfit. One of their biggest attractions, dinosaurs, only at a 15 minute wait right now. That's not bad at all, dang. There's a real life dinosaur, AKA an American crocodile. Must be a hot day for him, he's chilling in the shade. One thing I always hope to see crowded, no matter if it's spring break or dead season, is the dance party that they have over in the main area. It's absolutely lovely. It brings that true essence of Disney magic. I remember when they took it away for the pandemic, which by the way, today marks four years since uh, Disney closing for the pandemic. So so I always see that show and it reminds me how lucky I am to be here. Anyway, um, I'm actually dying. We're about to leave Animal Kingdom, but I need to eat. I'm dehydrated. I, I have to, I have this issue where I forget that I'm a human being and I'm not built differently in that sense. So it's time to get my favorite food. I got the impossible burnt ends with fries, two water cups and some whatever that is. It's delicious, I eat it all. At the end of this video, I'll give you a full comprehensive opinion about what I think when it comes to spring break and social media, but specifically for Animal Kingdom, it's really not that bad. I mean, there are some long lines, but this doesn't feel that different than any other day. And let me remind you, this is just my opinion. It could be right, it could be wrong, but that's what I think as someone who's lived here for the last four years and goes to Disney a lot. Well everyone, we've made it to Disney's Hollywood Studios, my favorite park. On first glance, yeah, it looks pretty crowded here. A little bit more hustle and bustle compared to Animal Kingdom, which kind of vibes with the theming of each park, but let's go inside, check out the wait times. I definitely feel like Hollywood Studios has more of those TikTok opportunities to make it seem like, oh my gosh, it's so crowded. I mean, this area definitely is bustling. My first indicator I always like to check out is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, one of the newest rides at Hollywood Studios. It is an 85 minute wait right now. Needless to say, that's probably the longest I've seen in a while. You know it's busy in Hollywood Studios if there's a line outside of the actual building. Even when it's a busy day, this area is always kind of dead, especially when the Disney Junior Dance Party is done for the day. I'm sure it's a little more crowded earlier when the characters are out. A little fun fact, the Little Mermaid show, it is coming back and they recently just went through their first round of auditions, so we'll see it soon. Toy Story Land, the best Toy Story Land in the world, might I say. Toy Story Mania is at an 85 minute wait. Now that's insane. That is spring break level hysteria. I will say though, I think Slinky Dog Dash is down right now, which might be aiding to why that wait time is so long. But man, I love this ride. Definitely not 85 minutes though. Seriously, I'm not even trying to be dramatic. I have not seen a line coming outside of here in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's down. But a cool thing that people don't really talk about too much during spring break, shout out to all the cast members, because you know we had to deal with the crowds, but they had to deal with the crowds, angry people. There's like horror stories. Anyway, they're entertaining the kids because they can't get on the ride right now. Pretty cute. Yep, the other rides in Toy Story Land are definitely feeling the effects. 50 minutes for Swirling Saucer. That's rough. But at the same time, you got empty areas just like this. Very peaceful, very tranquil. You wouldn't even know it's spring break right now. Galaxy's Edge, always a popular land. Let's see what's popping in here. <laughs> he has the right idea. He's standing above everyone, away from all the crowds. This is normal though. When there's a character, they attract a lot of people. Let's see if we can get his attention. Hi, Chewbacca. <laughs> Aw, looking good. <laughs> I love that for you. You have a good day, Chewbacca. Okay, this is not bad at all. 
I've seen this a lot more crowded, especially during the lightsaber celebration when they get a bunch of people to come in. But if you look to your right, you can definitely see it being a little crowded. Smugglers run, there's a 105 minute wait. So maybe the crowds outside aren't too busy, but I will say right now, the wait times in Hollywood Studios seem pretty long. You know, this is our second park out of four, and I'm gonna keep giving you my opinions, but I felt like I needed someone else's take. So I decided to bring my good friend, Matt, to get in here. It's been a minute since he's been on the vlog, and he's never afraid to share his opinion. So what do you think about Smuggler's Run right now? One, terrible ride. Could've been much better. If you're not the pilot, not worth it. Pilot is fun. Anything else, no. Standby wait time, 105. Yet, they're not even in the extended queue. The queue is indoors. That means one of two things. Either they're pumping all lightning lane in, which, which I do is, see, it, I do see a long lightning lane It's plausible. They could have a really high ratio. It could be like 30 lightning lanes to one standby, which I've seen before. Or they're severely over posting. I believe they're severely over posting. I would bet that it's maybe an hour max. You do have a lot of families coming here purchasing lightning lanes which does affect standby queue overall though i think it's safe to say that lines are being affected by spring break specifically in hollywood studios that resistant spy was tracked to batu you were sent to find her Excuse me, sir. Qu quick. Oh, this ought to be good. What? <laughs> I know you're doing your rounds. Have you noticed more uh, people in the area today being suspicious? Or I'm trying I to happen help. to find everyone to be suspicious, particularly those who ask inane questions. Oh, um, I'm good. I'm on. I'm on your team, Team Supreme Leader. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, Matt, you ever had the blue milk with rum? It's really good. I would be caught dead with that slop in my mouth. <laughs> hey, it kind of reminds me of you. Travelers bothering you, sir. Oh. All of these travelers are bothering me. I wouldn't want them to bother you. Uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye on for you. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Watch out. He's strong and he will be it makes me happy to see that show. I feel like they haven't done it in such a long time, especially this late in the day. It's like 5.30, which is pretty, pretty dope. Uh, I need two hot takes from you. One, 6.30, wow. Daylight savings. That, true. Sheesh. Shout out Disney for keeping the entertainment a little bit later. I love that. How do you like that? That hot guy didn't take. like it. Yeah, the Admiral didn't like it. My hottest take, my hottest Disney take. Oh boy, here we go. The blue milk with rum is maybe not the best, but one of the best alcoholic beverages on Disney property. Wow. At least taste-wise. You can't taste the alcohol at all. I know people don't like the blue milk in general, even True. without the alcohol, because yeah. they say it tastes like a Tide Pod. <laughs> oh, okay. I get that, though. It kind of smells like one. But, um, yeah, I like it, and then it's even better with the alcohol. It is expensive. How much was it? Seventeen fifty after tax. The line wasn't too long, though, which, you know, no, for yeah, spring break. Quick with it. Yeah, yeah. I, again, the lines don't seem too bad in Galaxy's Edge specifically. Yeah, they're not that What's bad. your take on spring break in Disney World? Do you agree with the social media posts? It's like, don't come here, it's too busy. Well, it's going to be, yeah, no, it's going to be more crowded. Obviously, you're going to want to come on the off times anyway. Um, that's always the best time to plan a trip, regardless of like it being a break or not but this isn't obnoxiously crowded it's yeah. more crowded but it's not shoulder to shoulder i'm betting magic kingdom probably is Ooh. that park but well, that park is older and it has a lot more pinch points and it's harder to get around there's a reason why we're going to that one last i'm yeah. kind of scared of that I one i'm kind of scared of that one but this park not bad at all always making new friends what's your name savannah savannah is that a lightsaber necklace it is that's so dope yeah you got the whole sif look going on today yes did kylo ren see you no you not got, yet you gotta go chase him down yeah by the way oga's cantina is taking walk-ups you'll probably have to wait anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour depending on your party size one fun thing i just recently noticed through instagram is that these cars are floating it's like an optical illusion i guess they're not even cars but i mean it's something that not, most people don't see but if you look through here it's not it's like not on the ground no one's holding it up 
pretty dope if you ask me. Now I've seen the Black Spire outpost busy and it's not busy. There's so much space to walk around. Granted, maybe because it's getting later in the day, less people are here, but that definitely sheds some more light on spring break in general. Rise of the resistance, 85 minute wait. Definitely a high traffic area. As you can see here, Grand Ave, not crowded as usual. I don't think I've ever seen this place packed, even on winter peak. Uh, it's because there's not really anything to do. You got Muppet Vision 3D, which is excellent, but nobody really goes to it anymore. Then you have is it Mama Melrose's back there, which pretty good, but again, it's all the way in the back, and if you didn't already have like a reservation and didn't know it was there, it's not something you'd look for. It's in the back corner. You have Pizza Rizzo, which is good as always, but you know, with so many other quick service options, who, who's looking at a rat pizza? One of the newest snack stands in Disney World, specifically Hollywood Studios. Not too long of a line. Snacks were okay. I made a vlog about it. Go check it out. <laughs> Look at Matt. I think he wants to go to Baseline Tap There's House. No line. He doesn't see any line. I guess we're going to make a quick stop. I mean, this is definitely an adult area compared to kids. You're going to get a lot more families and younger kids coming to Disney for their spring break, but this doesn't seem that affected. This is the best to vibe it's just relaxing they play good music you can people watch you can see all corners of the park and like I don't want to leave it's freaking 722 wait it's 722 yeah and Epcot closes and at Epcot nine. closes at 9 we have to sh you know it's cool though we're gonna see peak Epcot time because That's people true. show up at Epcot at night time so we will get the full like spring break experience at Epcot. I'm kind of scared. A lot of people are going to be drunk probably. Yeah. But um, Hollywood Studios overall wasn't too bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's nothing crazy. It just looks like another day. I'll show you a couple more examples on our way out, but I'm not getting that spring break. The lines are long though. Granted, it's early spring break. Like there's only a few places out of school right now. So it's, it's getting there. It's not peak spring break yet. You know, it is second week of March. Well, uh, usually third, fourth week into April is when it gets like pretty bad. Well, that's a good point to make because all the TikTok videos we've seen have been... Yeah, they've been saying it's spring break. It's not technically spring break yet. It's getting there. It's warming up to it. They're gradually going to be going off and this is definitely reaching a peak period. You can tell by the prices. The hotel rooms are insane right now. Here in Orlando, just in general. Yikes. Yeah, I just... Um, insane. I bought a hotel room last night for Drake. I'm going to Drake. Tell me if you want to see a Drake vlog I wasn't gonna vlog it but I could um, $500 for a one night another way you can tell if you're a Orlando native you will know this the traffic mm. oh man the amount of cars on the road right now is insane compared to like a normal week overall Hollywood Studios it's not overwhelming I felt a little more overwhelmed at Animal Kingdom but maybe just because it was a little hotter outside well this park is also more well constructed that's conducive to like crowd flow like there's so many pathways here and it's a much smaller park animal kingdom is huge the pathways are tighter and there's not as many pathways mm. yeah. you know when you, as soon as you enter in you have two ways to go yeah. one of them is usually an exit way <laughs> one of them is an entrance way so there's only one way for you really to go you're gonna go with the crowd star tour is on the way out only a 15 minute wait another indicator that it's not busy star tours if it's like at a 30 minute wait then you know it's a busy day yeah they got the new ones coming. Oh yeah, wait. It didn't happen yet. I should come back for that because there's new Ahsoka missions. Yeah. And, um, oh, what's the other one? I don't know. I have there's to look. one more that they're doing. Well, either way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because Matt, if you're free, we should come on the day it's open. And to everyone wondering, don't worry. We are still doing our food review series. We've just taken the hiatus because we're trying to do a lot of things, <laughs> including cruising. So your likes and views really uh, support the channel. Appreciate you guys. Matt's never been to 50s primetime. Never been to 50s or Hollywood and Vine. I feel like you'll like both. I've enjoyed yeah. them. Even this isn't that bad. And I thought it'd be bad with Fantastic coming up. Yeah, it's getting later at night. There's like one of the biggest shows in Walt Disney World happening here. There's usually a line, but it's not bad at all. Again, like... I'm looking for a reason to say spring break is here to really make it evident that's that much of a change. But social media might be lying to us just a little bit in the sense that it's not too crazy. And again, it might get more packed as the month continues, which is a fair assessment. JK, spring break is here. Look at those line for scoops. 
People want their ice cream on spring break, huh? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see the wait time for Tower Terror is that a hey, can I zoom up quick enough? 65 minute wait. Ah, that's a little bit more than I feel like for this time. Usually usually when I come around this time it's 40. Yeah, I was gonna say like 40, 45. So, so I mean, that's like 20 more minutes. Yeah, I definitely see some impact. The rock and roller coaster is just not operational at all right now. That is also something to keep in That might be why a lot of the waits are longer, is because you're missing rock and roller coaster, which is and a people Slinky eater. Dog was down. And Slinky Dog. So we got two big people eater attractions during spring closed. break. During spring break. That's gonna force more people out in the streets and other attractions, so that will affect. But race. in a weird way, I feel like with that being said, it would be more crowded. Yeah, right? Like, if, imagine if those two were open. Like, you'd have like nobody be over here. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. We have about one hour and 30 minutes in Epcot. Coming in, you can see the parking lot that they are full on both left and right hand side. Personally, I was able to drive all the way up to the front, which is nice. Fun fact, if you do come to any of the Disney parks, oh, <laughs> you parked all the way in the front too, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you come here with about an hour, two hours left, you usually can get close to premium parking for yeah, free. Yeah, they stopped regulating parking like two hours before park close. Yeah, so it seems like there's a lot of cars here, so I'm excited to go inside and check for ourselves if the spring break vibe is really going off in Epcot. Before we get inside, it's my new friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Aaron. Thank you. So Thank you've you. been here all day. Yeah. Was it crowded? Was it giving that spring break vibe? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All of the lines were over like an hour, hour and a half. Like, I think we waited for some. Test track was like two hours at one point. Wow. Making our way into Epcot. It makes sense. There's no line, but the park's almost closed. So it's nice though, when you don't have to wait to get in. I definitely need to come to this festival a little bit earlier in the day like four or five o'clock when we started the vlog just because we have a new festival flower and garden we got uh i was about to say encanto but this is wish did you like wish i don't think this is a very hot take at all i think this is a pretty common take it wasn't bad it was interesting it was a little off from other disney movies they made yeah it was all right i feel like i was i was expecting more from the 100th now, anniversary there's movie. a big rumor going around that they used ai um not maybe as the base but as a supplemental to writing it uh, especially during like the strikes. Ooh, well, let's, let, let's, let's squash that conversation. That's a whole <laughs> different vlog. The magnificent glowing ball. Sparkly, pretty. At 813 Spaceship Earth is at a 20 minute wait, but we wouldn't say it's 20, more like Probably 5, 10, yeah. I will say though, I'm not used to seeing a line this late at night for Spaceship Earth. Usually I can just walk right in, so keep that in mind. Epcot's newest addition is definitely welcome, specifically at nighttime, it's so pretty. I love the lighting on the floor. It's fun. It's definitely a cool place to just chill, relax, get your pictures, and wait out for the fireworks. Because this is flowering, garden you're gonna see a bunch of topiaries scattered across the park we got Pluto Mickey Minnie Chippendale it's beautiful honestly by the way I did film my first time at flower and garden with some of my best friends from college the other day if you haven't already subscribed I'm gonna post that in the next couple weeks but I have one more cruise vlog to post if you guys haven't watched already I just went on the Disney dream with my friend G it was a really good time go watch that support that and get excited for the last video because that's gonna be the biggest one and the best one yet. A five minute wait for a living with the land soaring around the world. 35 minutes, five minutes, five minutes with Figment, of course. Spaceship Earth, 10 minutes. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, 60 minutes. That's pretty average. Grand Fiesta, so 20 minutes. It's usually a walk on, so that might be affected by spring break crowds. Those and ever after, 65 minutes with an hour left. Test track, 50 minutes. That is, that is pretty steep. So we are in the World Showcase area right now, which is in between kind of where the country's break in the front um, and this is the lineup and it's about 30 minutes to showtime there's not that many people like actually I've, I've seen this area backed up to almost where I'm standing right now full of people for this show you can walk up right now and just get a spot along the fence this is not bad at all I would imagine that people are more spread out but yeah like th this is actually the least crowded i've seen this part of the lagoon area this early before showtime in a very long time we're coming up to a heavy traffic area so again i feel like people could make TikToks about this area being like spring break is so crowded i'm not gonna lie it definitely is very very crowded right now but this is pretty regular 
to be honest. Nothing is blowing my mind right now. You guys gotta come here during New Year's. This whole area, you can't even breathe. That is overwhelming amounts of like, don't come here. Like I would tell you guys, if you can't handle crowds, don't come here during New Year's. But right now, um, England's, AKA UK, chilling. What I will say is New Year's was packed, but operationally, it was so well done. I mean, what, the longest we waited at a bar was like 10 minutes, yeah. maybe, that all the pathways were moving. Speaking of operations, let's see how long it takes to get a drink in here. The fact that we have this much space to even talk and film right now. Empty. Yeah. And guys, if there's one place that should be packed at the end of the night, it's Rose and Crown. A big indicator for crowds in Epcot, especially around fireworks, is when cast members are stationed out here, it's directing people to stay on one side or the other, depending on which way you're going. But again, right now, no cast members out tonight, AK. There's no packed. There's no uh, need to have cast members tell people where to go because it's just not that crowded. We're walking through right now. 30 minutes until the fireworks. Seems pretty chill. Also, I love this pre-show music that they play. It's giving me Miami spring break vibes. Here's a look at Paris. I want to go back to Disney Paris soon. It's chill. You know, I've been saying this a lot recently, but it's not too bad. Lots of space to maneuver. It's not bad at all. So you guys are coming on your own Disney trip during spring break in the next week or two weeks. Don't be mortified. Don't be like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have a bad time. I specifically wanted to come to this area because I saw a TikTok of everyone, you know, being overwhelmed with people, not being able to walk that quickly. So again, it's not bad. I think the biggest thing when it comes to social media posts, thumbnails, all of that jazz, if they're talking about crowds, they like to take high like choke points, you know, points where there's a lot of foot traffic and then they try to apply it to a whole park. But from my experience today, I mean, we're walking straight into Japan right now. One booth I didn't get to try on opening weekend of Flower and Garden was Japan. And happy to see that there's not that long of a line. We're definitely gonna grab something to eat real quick. Thank you so much. Here is our ramen cup. Okay, just gotta open it up. We got some chived onions. It looks kind of like ramen. I'm just gonna, looks like a salad right now. I'm just gonna take yeah. a... Right off the bat, I was instantly like, oh, it's cold. But is that how they serve it in Japan? Like, actually, I don't know. You've been. Um, from the ramen, I've had no. But it's definitely not a bad way. It's not bad. I feel like this is a cold ramen noodle salad. There's a lot of greens in here. Yeah, there are a lot of greens. Not a lot of chicken. Yeah, I have not tried. The good, though. Yeah, overall, the flavor is good. Now, as a ramen lover, I was hoping to just get like a cup of ramen noodles, just higher quality. Beep. I've had some time to sit on these noodles. They actually taste really good. These are good. <laughs> this is a solid eight out of 10 meal. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there's all the seasoning at the bottom. Exactly. When you get to the bottom, you can actually taste all the sauce and the seasoning, which makes it so good. The coldness and the greens are a little off-putting at first. This is good. You guys got to try this for yourself. Mm. We are running the test track. One minute before the park closed. 15 minute wait. Oh my God, Matt's running. Ah. Woo. All right. Should we do standby? Yeah, we can do standby. Woo. We made it. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, we did it. Woo. It wouldn't feel appropriate if we didn't go on one ride today. You want to do this? Or should we do single rider? It was close. Oh, single rider was close. That's why I came in here. Oh, makes sense. Okay. This is definitely a little bit longer. Let's see if we get on by 9.15. Probably. There's no lightning. Lady. True. I actually can't tell you the last time I did standby. Usually I just do single rider. This will be fun. I can make a car. A little pro tip for anyone trying to save some time. You could skip by uh, going through the gray door. Go, Matt. Go. But I feel like a lot of people know this tip because it's kind of packed. Oh boy. For what it's worth, I was expecting the line to be a little shorter right before park closed, but we're getting there. At 9.17, our Uber has arrived. Well, here we go. 
test track. <laughs> we also got our own uh, car. Don't know why, but I'm here for it. I am not ready for this. I'm so tired. Whoa! Oh. Capability test. Matt, we can be as loud as we want. We're the only ones on this car. Waking me up. I want to go to bed. Uh, hey guys, let me know down below. What's your favorite ride? Uh, mine is probably not this one, but it's always fun, and especially if it's at a 15 minute wait. I can't complain. Ah! Oh, the doors aren't working. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Hello world! Whoa! This is fun. Oh! Yeah. How you doing, Matt? Pretty good. I'm enjoying this. Oh, we're going quick. Oh! Oh my! Oh! We're flying. Oh my god. Why did we go so fast? Did they make it faster for us? That was, that was crazy. So at the end of the ride, coming down the hill, it felt like a really hard stop. I was like, that felt like an emergency stop. Sure enough, like a minute later, they just came on. They were like, ride stop initiated, turning on show lights now. Maybe getting evac'd. Well, that was crazy. We were going really, really fast. <laughs> um, Hopefully we get off this ride soon because it's 9.20 and Magic Kingdom closes at 11. I want to get to the park to check out the crowds after the fireworks. Hopefully we get there. I don't know if we will at this point. I'm hearing weird noises up there. Obviously they're not building the track ahead of us, but it sounds like they're building the track ahead of us. It sounds like there's like power tools going. I just hear a bunch of hydraulics being like dispensed like that. For what it's worth, this definitely has no evidence to be the case, but I did have a cast member friend who was working at Big Thunder the other day in Magic Kingdom, and they said they were just running so many trains that one of the trains broke down and they had to switch it out, which made the wait time longer. We are catching the end of the day. Maybe the test track was just overused, though. It seems like we're not moving right now. They're trying to get us out. I don't know what's happening. We actually might get evac at this point. This is the longest. This is the longest I've ever been stuck in one spot. This is nuts. I think we are getting evac actually. Yeah, they're beneath us right now. What? I heard the keys jingle and walking beneath us, and they're like going along, resetting each block zone. I'm getting bored. <laughs> this is nuts. Last time I got stuck on a ride for this long was uh, Tower of Terror, I believe, with Paging Miss Tomorrow. But that one was a lot more cooler and creepier. We're just in a hallway. People behind us. I guess we went too fast, a little too furious. Is it just me or is this restraint getting tighter? Probably just feels like it hasn't been in so long. Yeah. yeah. They keep saying the same things. Let us out. She says, please remain seated. How did we get out of this seat? Well, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Everyone in the comments down below, make your bet. Who do you think is going to win? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you suck. Best two out of three. All right, if I win, though, you owe me a drink. 
A different day, not tonight. Yeah, different day. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, you owe me a drink. <laughs> Are we actually getting evac mm -hmm. That was the evac spiel. That was the evac spiel. They just turned off the ride. It's a lot less loud, as you can tell. This is nuts. This is crazy. People got evac off Space Mountain too. Oh, cast members. Hello. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Man, spring break. <laughs> yeah, crazy. This thing's probably been working all day. Oh, they're evacuating people. One at a time, they're taking people out of the car. That's crazy. So they're evacuating one car at a time. Oops. They have cleared out the area. We have made it off the ride. Oh my gosh. The park is officially closed. Like very, very closed. There are no more crowds here. Wait, this is so funny. The people from the Chevrolet uh, showroom are still here. Hello. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Those guys have to stay here until the gift shop closes and the gift shop closes when we leave. So all these cast members are staying overtime a little bit for us. I mean, it's not our fault, but you know. Thank you, have a good night, guys. By the way, they did give us a fast pass for tomorrow, and if we're not in the parks, AKA, we're not gonna be. We can talk to guest relations and they can modify it. But we ended up just skipping on that just because we come here so much, and honestly, we don't, we don't need it. We'll just, we'll just do something else. Not too many people left in the park here. Well, I wasn't expecting that, huh? No, I wasn't expecting that, but it happens. It happens all the time. And especially during normal. spring break. A lot Those of rides are, they got longer hours, you know. Pushing harder. They're pushing harder, more capacity. And unfortunately, because of this delay, it is past 10 o'clock now. Magic Kingdom closes at 11. Should we yeah. still go? Is it So the whole point of this video was to show you guys what the true crowds were. And I feel like if we go in the last 20 minutes, we're not gonna get, we're gonna get skewed yeah. data. It's gonna be empty. The fireworks we're gonna, are gonna be over We're gonna hours. show up and no one's gonna, no be, one's gonna there. be there. We're gonna be like, oh, what are people talking about? It's dead. And that's not a good reflection of how the crowds actually were throughout During the During spring break. Especially during spring break. And Especially because people have been out here, it's a long day. They're probably long gone by now. Yeah. That being said, if you're looking for the best time to go during a crowded time, the last couple hours, you're gonna oh, have a good sure. time. I mean, we got on that ride in 15 minutes, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, no line, pretty much. Is social media lying about spring break, specifically with Disney? Mm, I don't say no. Like, what they're seeing they're not, is yeah. real. They're, it. Yes, it's real. Those are called pinch points, and they do happen in the You know, it's almost like traffic. People merge. There's parts of the park that aren't as wide. It's going to happen. But they're few and far between. And so a lot of people will highlight on that to say, oh my gosh, look at these crowds. Don't come. When that's not necessarily the full picture. Yeah, it might be crowded right there, but in the back, you know, it's more sparse, and the lines aren't as bad. Yeah. It's all about catching the right waves. It's all about planning out your day. Make sure the you really plan out Yeah, the, the timing for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's an ebb and flow right yeah, it's an ebb and flow i think spring change. break definitely brings more people and we're not even 100%. at the the highlight like 100 the, the big time for spring break mm -hmm. yet but from the social media posts i've seen i'm not gonna say they're lying is it as crazy as they project it to be no I was not overwhelmed. When I see those videos, yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, it's like I don't want to go. So and I'm here, and I'm like, this is fine. Yeah, it was. Fine. We had a good. We had a good day. Yeah, we got some steps in. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um. So, do you think social media is lying about spring break in Disney? I wouldn't call it lying, but I wouldn't call it being necessarily completely 100% truthful. It's just painting a small picture. Is it stretching the truth? It might be stretching the truth. Maybe or a little white lie, like the kind of lie that your parents tell you. It might be completely anecdotal, and that person 
person just has a rough day and it's not timed well and everything they're seeing is like that, it does happen. Disney World specifically is so big that each person's experience could be completely, completely different, different from the next. Ours is super chill. Granted, we didn't wait in the lines. If we wait, yeah, we weren't trying necessarily to do rides. Yeah. So maybe, you know, if you're trying to You saw the, the wait times for the big attractions and they were long. So take it as you will. We had a good day, even though we got stuck. Honestly, it was yeah. kind of more entertaining that we got stuck. Yeah, no, it's always fun, especially when you've been on a ride a million times, getting an in-show exit, which is what they call an evac, is, is pretty cool. I'll never complain about one. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to film us like walking on the track, but it was cool. It's something I've never seen before, and that's rare, because I come here a lot. Yeah. Regardless, guys, no Magic Kingdom tonight. It would have not Good made night. sense. Um, I can go film Magic Kingdom's crowd specifically in the future if you want me to. Let me know down below. Yeah, let's go, let's go there during the height of spring break. Yeah, yeah. the true chaos. Yeah, that'll be, yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, guys, remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and I'm happy to say that four years later, things are back to normal. Four years ago, oh, yeah, the absolutely. pandemic closed down the parks today. Oh yeah, it was today, wow. Yeah. I'm happy wow, that we've gone past that. Yeah. Big turnaround, lots of people, great to see. I'll see you in the next one. Thank Bye, you. guys. Go follow Mal on Instagram. He wants some more followers. Uh, it, it, it'd be great if you could.